Hello my dear family and friends welcome to Siri Kitchen Moments let's prepare bisi bilabad bisi bilabad is made with rice lentils and mixed vegetables that is infused with an aromatic spice powder it's a traditional one pot dish from a southern indian state karnataka this hot lentils based gooey dish is so delicious and amazingly filled with goodness let's build our bisi bilabad dish by making our very own spice powder you can check out bisibilla bath masala powder link in the description section below or you can click on the card that is displayed near the i icon above and let's see how to make bisibilla bath step wise firstly take a lemon sized tamarind and soak in hot water squeeze the tamarind extract to another bowl to the tamarind juice add 1 teaspoon jaggery and 1/2 teaspoon salt stir well until jaggery dissolves in the extract Now add the prepared ground bisibilla bath masala powder to the tamarind juice and mix well. It's better to add the masala powder to the tamarind juice and blend in with the mix as adding the masala powder to the dish directly in the pan may end up forming lumps. So the best way is to mix the powder with the extract and we can pour this mix in the dish at a later stage. To a bowl, add 1 cup rice and 1/2 cup tur dal. Wash and rinse rice and tur dal thoroughly. Pour three and a half cups of water. Pressure cook rice and dal together for four whistles on a medium flame. Both rice and dal should be soft and cooked well. Dal should be of mushy texture and should be well done. Lightly mash cooked rice and dal to get a nice creamy texture. Let's set this aside. Now moving on to making the bisi bela bath. To a hot pan, add one tablespoon ghee. When ghee is hot, add one medium onion cubed. or can use shallots instead saute for a minute now add half cup green peas add 2 carrots cut into small pieces one capsicum cut into small pieces 10 french beans cut into 1 inch size fry all these mixed vegetables on a medium flame for 5 minutes until the raw flavors disappears after 5 minutes pour 1 cup of water and cook till the vegetables are well done but should be slightly crunchy do not make the veggies mushy or overcook veggies should be at the right texture for the dish when the veggies are well cooked pour the tamarind mix that we prepared give a nice mix and let the veggies and spice powder blend in well now add cooked rice and dal and give a stir pour 1 cup of water to the pan stir well and mix after 5 minutes taste test the dish and adjust the spice powder salt tamarind extract or jaggery as needed when the taste turns out to be perfect lower the flame and cook until the right consistency it may be little thick but slightly pouring consistency turn off the stir and set it aside now comes the tempering part to finish the dish heat a pan with 1 tablespoon ghee to the hot ghee add 2 dry red chilies mustard seeds when the mustard seeds splutter add 1 teaspoon of hing and curry leaves cashew nuts pour this tempering to the cooked mixture and stir Hot bisibilla bath is ready to be served. This dish thickens as it gets cooled down, so you can adjust the consistency by adding little hot water to the dish and it will loosen a bit. Generously drizzle some melted ghee on top of this hot bisibilla bath and serve with appadam or papads or any fryams of your choice. For a real taste of bisibilla bath, do like this video, try out and comment your feedback of how this bisibilla bath masala powder and the dish turned out for you i'll be glad to know that it turns out great for you also do share this video to your loved ones for a good health as it's incorporated with nutrient rich vegetables for more concentrated recipes please subscribe to siri kitchen moments channel and click the bell icon to receive the latest video notifications